hi guys so for today's video i'm gonna show you guys how to make this um it's like haiva tostada so let's start off with the ingredients you're gonna need some cucumbers mangoes some tomatoes some chiles of your choice serranos jalapenos cilantro um you're also going to need a pound well i bought different kinds of shrimp that one is deveined easier and this one has the shrimp heads so i will show you guys why um i did get one with the shrimp heads um it's key for this recipe so you're going to start off with boiling a half a red onion a tomato and a chile of your choice um like i said i am choosing the serranos so once it's about mm, let's say uh that it's almost ready you're gonna want to put in the shrimp because you don't want the shrimp to overcook um nobody wants that so make sure you don't do that so now i'm just showing you guys how i cut up my onion it's um not perfect not gonna lie i've been wanting to buy that quick like um uh vegetable cutter and it cuts it up in little pieces for you just like kind of like slam it and it looks so easy but um i just haven't gotten to buying it i'm probably gonna go to tg maxx or marshall's one of these days and just get it i've seen it that people sell it there but yeah um I ended up cutting up another small onion. Um, this one just wasn't enough, so I ended up cutting another one. Um, it just honestly depends on how much you're going to make. Um, this was a big batch that I was going to take um, to a little barbecue we were having at my boyfriend's family's house. Um, so, you know, it was going to be a couple of people, so I ended up seeing that I did need another onion, um, and then I'm just showing you guys, you see this is where I realized, no, I need more onion, and then I am cutting up the serranos, so with serranos, you could either do serranos or jalapeno, or honestly, don't put any, um, any kind of chile, it's all personal preference uh it depends on how spicy you want it how much spice your guests can handle because you know usually with these kinds of um this kind of like dish people put either tapatio or valentina on it already so you technically don't need any kind of chile but obviously it gives it like a really good flavor so here I am. I ended up including all three of them, which um, I did hear it was a little spicy, but I mean, I heard from like two people that it was a little spicy. Everybody else um, enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, just use however many you need. So now for your tomatoes, it's very, very important to take off the seeds just like I'm doing right here um you just want to take them take off all the seeds and I find the easiest way to do that is with a spoon honestly um so I ended up using there's actually I ended up grabbing another tomato from the kitchen because I did see that um three tomatoes was not enough um you just want to keep the veggies kind of similar um, size to all the other ones you're cutting. So just keep that in mind when you're um, dicing up your veggies just to keep them approximately around the same size. Um, so you won't have a different size of veggies. Um, but yeah, just cut up a couple of tomatoes. So now I used two cucumbers. Um, you want to peel them. Make sure they're peeled. Um, actually, this doesn't have to be very perfect. Um, you just want to peel them and make sure that you cut off like the ends. Um, 
you don't want to include like the ends and then you want to cut it in half or in four pieces whatever is easier for you and also just like you did to the tomatoes you want to take off the seeds from the cucumber that way um everything you oh you see i already did cut them up all and then you know we're chopping them up vaguely around the same size as all the other veggies um i did up i did only end up using two cucumbers they were pretty good sized cucumbers and now I am also peeling the mangoes. I like to include mangoes in it. It, it gives it a really good taste. So you want to peel it and cut them up, like I said, around the same sizes as all your other veggies. Honestly, the probably the most difficult part was peeling and cutting up the mangoes. I don't really do that. My dad, shout out to my dad. He's the one that does that for me. And every time we want like a piece of mango or something, my dad's always doing it for us. So now you see how the veggies are almost ready. Then you want to put in the, the shrimp. You want to leave it in there for like a couple of like maybe like four minutes. You don't want to overcook it. So then in the blender, I add in all of the, the veggies that I boiled plus about five or six heads of shrimp and you blend it all together and here i am peeling off the shrimp you don't want you don't want um you don't want to leave like the oh gosh what do you call it the skin on there um and like i'm showing you guys right here these are easier way easier um there i don't have to devein them and then you just want to now add your haiva, which I added a whole packet of haiva. It was about four pounds of shrimp and a whole packet of haiva for this uh, particular batch that I did. Um, yeah, I did. I so once it's all, you got all your veggies in there, your shrimp and your haiva, you want to season it. I'm adding some pepper and salt, and that's all I'm adding, nothing else. Um, you want to give it a good mix. Um, all the seasonings are personal preference. It does just however you guys want, like it. Um, then from there, we are adding some clamato. Um, the amount of clamato you use is your own preference as well i don't like them too watery so i didn't add too much i did add a lot of lemon juice though i used like 14 15 lemons you can see them in the back right there um i personally like it lemony so went ahead and just did uh about 15 lemons um, get all the juice in there and also very important when you boil your shrimp and get and your onion tomato and um, uh, serrano make sure you save some of the water because that's the water we're going to put in here. The rest of the water. It gives it such, such a good flavor. So make sure you save it. You put it in the fridge so it could be cooled down. And then what we blend. What we blended, you want to use a strainer because this, honestly, guys, this gives it such a good flavor. Highly, highly recommend you do this, but obviously you do want to strain it. So once you mix everything all together, you give it a good, good, good mix. Make sure it has the right amount of salt, pepper, lemon, all that good stuff, and you're ready to serve. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Um, yeah, bye guys.